Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk to you guys about one of my 2016 New Year's resolutions. Um, I feel like I have made really good progress in the hoarding closet. I'll be giving you guys an update soon on the hoarding closet. I just did an inventory and I'm really excited about it. And I've been working, as you guys know, all year on a pan that palette kind of project. And I have to say that while I really have enjoyed doing that, I also have really not enjoyed doing it because I feel like eyeshadow is such a weakness of mine, especially single eyeshadows. I have a ton of single eyeshadows or like shadow sticks uh, or cream shadow sticks that I never use because I'm always focusing on my palettes. So for 2016, one thing I wanted to do, I want to just pan a couple of like single shadows and then a couple of like drugstore trios that I have had that are on like their last legs and there's maybe like one eyeshadow left that I just want to go ahead and use up. Um, I don't think it's going to be easy just because I also want to this year do a palette of the month club. I got inspired about this last year but then I got sucked into a pan that palette and didn't end up doing it. I would love to do a like palette video where I show you guys all of my palettes and then you guys can tell me like what palettes you want me to focus on and I'll pick one each month. I will do like a swatch video on it. I will do, um, I will show you just like what the palette is, what it costs, yada, yada, yada. I will do a tutorial with it and then I'll play with it over the course of the month and like give you guys my final thoughts. Uh, I have a ton of palettes and I just feel like I don't do enough with them on this channel or in my own personal life because I have been working so much in the past year on this one palette. Um, but let me show you guys the things that I do want to use up in the eyeshadow range this year. All right, the first thing I have up is this Pop Goes the Shadow by Elizabeth Mott. It's in the color Champagne. This came in an Ipsy bag. I actually recently discovered it a couple of months ago in my collection. It's so pretty. I love putting it all over my lid. I'm somebody who has a weakness for a really dark crease, like a like a matte dark brown or even like a, a metallic brown with a light color like this on my lid. I just love the look of this. Uh, I just want to use this because again, I like it a lot and I feel like it gets neglected because it goes into that like barren desert known as my single eyeshadow collection. And I think that this won't take me too, too long because it's not that finely pigmented or, um, it's all that finely milled, so I have to use a lot of product to get a nice look on my eye. And I've only used this maybe like five times, and you can see like a pretty heavy, you know, dent. Like you can see clear usage on there. So I feel confident that I can get through this um, probably like in the first like three or so months of the year. The other single that I wanted to pull was this Rimmel London um, Precious Rose. This, again, it's the same type of thing. I really like using this with a dark... Um, uh, like crease and then I love putting this on top of the um, inked and pink uh, Maybelline color tattoo. Words are a struggle today. I'm super tired. Uh, I just I really like it. It doesn't look like much on my hand but it really does a nice job building off of the Maybelline color tattoo and I just again I love the look of it on my lid. So. The other thing I have is this Rimmel London um, quad in Sun Safari. You can see I've used up the gold already and I've got some pretty deep pan happening here on the bronze and then I have these two colors that I don't feel are too far away from showing pan. I really do love this quad. I love this in you know particular. I'm not a biggest fan of this shadow here in the middle but I mean all of them are really nicely pigmented. The gold I was using as a lid color that's why it's gone and then I was using this brown. You can see the three of them sitting right there. They don't look like much. I have to warn you, they don't swatch that great, but they, in reality, are actually pretty nice when you put them on your lid. They do a lot better on your lid than they do just like looking at them. So definitely I'm excited to get this out of my collection. It's one of the first things I bought because of YouTube. The other trio that I have is from Alme. This again is a bittersweet one because I really like this and they repackaged and reformulated these and they are not good anymore. I tried one out and they're not the best. Um, I don't even know how I still have this much in here for these three colors. This is the one that's in um, the trio for browns. I love these colors. I think they're so pretty. This is what they look like on here. I mean, 
they just like it doesn't take much to get the color on there I don't know how I've not hit pan on this but I just want to use this because I have a lot of colors like this and I have them in palettes and I just want to get this cleaned out last thing I have is from one of my most beloved wet and wild products it's the walking on eggshells I panned this earlier in my project 25 and then I have this crease this crease color I mean it doesn't take much of anything so it's I mean gonna take me a little bit longer to go through but I like that it's a crease color and then the um brow highlight here I used up uh, without meaning to it just kind of happened so I just have this one shadow left and I just want to go ahead and be done with it even though I probably will repurchase this entire quad or entire trio because it is the best so those are the things that I'm focusing on in 2016 along with just in general working on decluttering uh, it's really hard this time of year for me to stay focused on my current collection of products because pretty much every drugstore brand comes out with a ton of new stuff and I feel like this year especially they all are really stepping up their game and really competing with those higher end brands. I'm seeing like brand new cushion, Korean inspired types of foundations. I'm seeing like palette type things. I'm seeing setting sprays and finishing powders and just tons of things that are really tempting. And it's gonna be very hard for me to resist, especially Physicians Formula because they always come out with their new spring stuff and then they put like tons of rebates on them. So you, when you stack it up with deals and the rebate, you get them for free or better than free. So it's gonna be hard for me. That's why I wanted to be a little bit more conservative with my shadows this time. In total, I've got nine shadows, which doesn't seem um, like a lot, but it definitely won't be easy because they're all different sizes and I can only, you know, do three eyeshadows. Like I'm not someone who does a lot of layered looks. I keep it really simple. Um, so that's it for me. I'd love to hear from you guys on what some of your makeup resolutions are. I am always going to keep doing the Project 10 pans because I love doing that and I kind of was already doing it before I knew that that was an actual thing, that there was a term for that. Um, so I'm really happy with 2015 and how it went with my progress and I just want to keep moving that forward in 2016. Alright guys, I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!